Hello everyone and welcome to Ambrosia. My name is Bhavya Desai and I would like to welcome all of you to the Ambrosia Awards 2020. The awards are presented by Angus Dundee and associated partner Radico Khaitan Limited, co-presented by Bacardi India and supported by Cars Group, Guala Closures, Glasgow Whiskey and SNJ Distilleries. So as you're aware, we usually celebrate the Ambrosia Awards in a physical ceremony in the presence of the entire Alcobay fraternity. But these are extraordinary times and extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. So for the first time and hopefully the last time, we are celebrating and also featuring the awards in this format. The Ambrosia Awards were instituted over three decades ago to celebrate and applaud the success and the excellence of the Al Alcobev industry. The awards recognize the cherished creations and the people behind those creations in the industry and this is the 15th edition of the awards. The Ambrosia Awards are the most renowned, coveted and sought after awards in the industry and one of the reasons for this is the robust way of conducting these awards. Before we learn about that process, let's quickly have a word from Mr. Trilok Desai, the MD and publisher of SAP Media Worldwide Limited. Hi and welcome to Ambrosia Awards. Almost 15 months have passed and we are still in the grip of pandemic and probably looking at a third wave that might hit India. We at Ambrosia would like to pay special homage to all alcohol industry and personnel who lost their fight against COVID during these difficult times. We are praying for their soul to rest in peace as I personally know few people from the industry who fought valiantly and came out of COVID. Like most of the segment of the Indian industries, alcohol industry is no exception and has been very badly hit due to prolonged lockdown throughout India. Liquor shops remain closed, bars and restaurants shut, which led to increased unemployment in the industry. With the hospitality industry yet to open up completely, the industry has seen the fair share of financial challenges during this time. But I am very happy that the industry as a whole, including many MNCs operating in India and the Indian companies have contributed immensely during these times to the families of the alcohol and hospitality industry, including to government in kind or cash. We are thankful for that support and collective as an industry will pull through this difficult time as well. While the, re while the past year has been difficult, the industry is now finally showing signs of recovery in the financial year 2021-22. Not only do we expect more product launches this year, but also increased activities, including our own exhibition, Inspiri 21, slated for 1st October 21. Despite many challenges that the industry is facing today, the state government has been innovating new policy to generate more revenue like the one of Delhi excise. Coming to this year's awards, we are only announcing the awards for the product and packaging categories and there will be no company awards as well as individual awards that will be conferred this year. The jury had an exciting time reviewing all the samples sent by you for the awards this year and there are many exciting and surprising winners this year. We are also gearing up for the 21 editions of the awards and we are excited about it. Let me thank you all the companies who had sent their samples for the competition and wish you good luck. Even if you are not the winner this time, you could be for the coming season. Let me also thank all the sponsors who have supported us during the COVID time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ian Fatith and I am the Global Brand Ambassador of Angus Dundee Distillers. We're here at Glen Caron Distillery, which is our Highland Single Malt. McCroy's is a premium blended Scotch whisky, which uses a lot of first fill bourbon casks in its production. Glen Caron Distillery produces a very fruity and sweet whisky. The sweet and fruity spirit that we make here has a major influence in the flavour components of a McCroy's blended Scotch whisky.
Always bet on it, mate. So now, after listening to Mr. Desai, let's quickly understand what the format of the awards are. The Ambrosia Awards are conducted in a unique style that matches some of the best international award standards globally. It is conducted by Ambrosia by inviting a world-leading international jury in order to make the awards an unbiased one in a three-day blind tasting event where the jury members taste over 200 to 250 products from various categories. The packaging awards are also adjudged by some of the leading lights from the packaging and design industry, rounding off the Ambrosia Awards and its gold categories. So for the year 2020 as well, we received some great products that you guys had sent that the jury were very impressed with. And like every year, we had a great combination of jurors from across the globe to taste your cherished creations. So let us take a look at the jury for the Ambrosia Awards 2020. The first is Bernard Schaefer, who's been with us for quite a number of years and he's a whiskey expert, also does a lot of spirit consulting and a master of cash. Now he began his professional career in the year 1985 during the time when he was studying sociology. Over the years, he has become increasingly popular and has got a lot of accolades, including the keeper of cash in 96 and the master of cash in 2007. Now the next is Stephen Beale. He's a recognized spirits writer, a senior whiskey master from USA, a spirits educator and a consultant and also a keeper of cash. Now his career spans over 20 years and his work has earned him a place in the Whiskey Magazine Hall of Fame where he was inducted along with Bill Samuels. Now the next person is also a very interesting juror. He's from India and that is Dr. Binod Maitin. Now he's an independent technical consultant and he's also associated currently with Flavor Active UK and Trillium Beverage Company. Apart from working in these companies, he's also been a head SVP and a head of Technical Center for United Spirits, which is a Diageo company. Now the next jury member which we have is also very interesting and that is Uwe Christensen. Now he's a mixologist and is based out of Germany. He's also the owner of Christensen's Bar in Hamburg and also author of a number of books including Mixed Emotions, Cocktail Recipes for Every Mood. Now he's been on the bar circuit since 1991 and he's been working with a lot of magazines, newspapers, TV channels and also has done a lot of radio experiences. So the next jury member is Tobias Grohn who's based out of UK, especially London and he also has had a very illustrious career during his time. He's also the first time that he's joined the Ambrosia Awards jury for the 2020 edition and I must say that the feedback from the jury to all the samples that were sent across by all of you were very very impressive and let's look at the categories now. ACP, 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 ACP,
एसीपी एप्पल जूस ये वक्त मेरा है It's the finest Japanese craftsmanship. Oaksmith Gold. Peg it higher. Before we begin the awards, let's take a look at the Alcobev industry in India in 2020. So the consumption of alcoholic beverages across India amounted to around 6.23 billion litres in the financial year 2019 and was forecasted to reach a value of 6.53 billion litres in the financial year 2020. Now, the Indian alcohol industry is the third largest in the world with an estimated value of $35 billion. The Indian alcoholic beverage industry is also one of the biggest alcohol industries across the globe, only behind two major countries, which is China and USA. Now, if we talk about the India spirit sector, then this includes whiskey, brandy, rum, vodka and is estimated to expand to 25% to 2.93 trillion rupees, which is roughly $41 billion by 2022. Now let us move on to the first set of awards. But before I do that, let me just tell you that all of these product categories that we are talking and awarding today, they all have been based on blind tasting by all the jury that we spoke about earlier. So the first category is the beer category. Now the beer sales have grown from 241 million cases to 300 million cases in revenue in the beer segment. Now this amounts to close to 14,981 million in the year 2021 and the market is expected to grow annually at 10.14% in CAGR 21-2025. Now, the per capita beer consumption here is still very low compared to the other countries in the Asia-Pacific region. And therefore, the market could witness a huge growth in the coming years. Now, talking about the award categories that we have in beer, there are two categories that we've been awarding. Now, first is a strong beer and the second is a mild beer. So, the best strong beer award for the first Ambrosia Awards 2020 goes to Sterin 8 Premium Quality Strong Beer. So the next category is for the best mile category and the best mile beer goes to British Empire Ultra Premium Beer. In the best mile beer category, we have another award and the award for the best mile beer goes to Kingfisher Ultra Wit Beer. It's an honor for Kingfisher Ultra to be recognized with an award, especially one as prestigious as the Ambrosia's In Spirit 2020. To get an award in product and packaging just makes it that much more delightful. We are uh, extremely delighted and happy by this, that a product that is homegrown craft beer in the wit beer space has been accorded such a lovely recognition. So let's move on to the next category and the next category is the wine category which is upcoming and a popular one in India. So the wine sales have grown from 2.3 million cases to 2.6 million cases and some of the biggest exporting countries are French and the Italians. Now, talking about the wines that have become really popular in India and the category as well, both premium as well as sparkling wines have really taken over the Indian market. So the first award in this category is for the best premium wine. And the best premium red wine goes to Jacob's Creek Double Barrel.
So the next category is the vodka category and that has also become immensely popular in India in the recent years, especially amongst the women. Now did you know that vodka sells nearly 9 million cases? And the revenue from the vodka segment amounts to close to 46 million in the year 2021. Now the market is expected to grow at an annual rate of 5.85% and the increased disposable income, the introduction of flavors, these are some of the factors that have really attributed to this growth. Now the first award in the vodka category is for the best premium vodka. And the award goes to Juno Premium Pink Vodka. The best super premium vodka goes to Smoke Classic Vodka. Thanks again Ambrosia for recognizing us for the best super premium vodka award. And uh, you know like when we started it in a couple of years ago, we found there was a vacuum which we wanted to fill and uh, we feel it's movers benefit. And again, we did a lot of R&D, a lot of tastings of the product before we actually took it out. And when we took it out, a lot of blind tasting went in our paper. So we knew we were going to hit the nail, right? So thanks again and uh, hopefully we get many more of these. Now speaking about the flavors, we also have a flavor category and the best premium flavored vodka goes to Magic Moments Remix for their cucumber and wild green lemon flavor. Magic Moments is the only vodka that offers the most vibrant and unique flavors in the vodka category in the country. Cucumber and wild green lemon is one such flavor among the nine flavors that the brand offers. Thank you for picking up the best flavored vodka of the year and watch out for the host of new flavors we plan to bring out this season. Now the next product category is brandy and brandy sales in India have grown from 76 million cases to 77 million cases. Now the overall revenue from the brandy segment is approximately 9000 million dollars in the year 2021 and the market is expected to grow annually at 8.35 percent between 2021 to 2025. Now when it comes to the brandy category, we only have one award and that is for the best premium brandy. And the best premium brandy award goes to British Empire Brandy. Now moving on to the next category, the next category is rum. And talking about the rum, the sales in 2020 were close to 42 million cases in India. The revenue from the rum segment amounts to close to $1,500 million in 2021 and the market is expected to grow annually at 8.77% between 2021 to 2025. Now in this, the first award is for the best premium aged rum goes to Bacardi Reserva Ocho rum aged 8 years. Thank you Ambrosia Jury and most importantly our consumers who have showered their love on Bacardi Reserva Ocho. Rum culture in India is at a turning point and we believe our premium rum age portfolio with Quattro, Ocho and Diaz will lead and reignite the resurgence to a new generation of spirit drinkers. Cheers. Now the next category is for the best white rum category and the award goes to Aspira Lemon Twist Handcrafted White Rum. This award, Ambrosia Award, is given to my product, White Rum. I'm having 2-3 White Rum. See, uh, Lemon Twist and uh, Berry Blast be introduced in the Tamil Nadu market as well as be exposed from other countries. So this product is doing well and uh, this uh, if you say, uh, if you want anything comparable brand means, so Bacardi is the senior most, uh, I mean, uh, it's, they are in the uh, white rum and uh, flowered rum and uh, all, all rum they are producing. Compared to that, this product is a unique product for us. So we don't copy anything. So they are getting a lot of raw material from GMR. So uh, uh, this product is not a comparable product for others. 
so this is a unique product that's what i'm saying so if the uh if once again i completed my other states and the entry means it will be the number one product in india so if now i got the award from the amlosia i appreciate all judges I men uh, judges in the amlosia and uh, some other uh, professional team given this means i'm really proud of this this is more successful for me and my for my growth thank you now moving on to the black rum as well there are a number of awards in this category and the first is for the best popular black rum and the best popular black rum award goes to pluton bay exotic rum i would like to thank ambrosia magazine and inspin 2020 for honoring us with the best popular black rum award for our Pluton Bay exotic rum. This unique flavored rum was launched for the ones who truly carry the spirit of adventure. Now the next category is for gin. And as you know, gin is known as a summer drink and it is very popular in India as well. Now if you talk about the category and the segment, then the sales of gin have plateaued to about 1.3 million cases in India. and the revenue is close to 2000 million dollars in the year 2021 now the market is still expected to grow though to 8.85% or by 8.85% between 2021 to 2025 now the indian gin market is estimated at about 413.7 million by the end of 2027 in terms of revenue and this makes up close to 2% of the spirit segment in india but newer higher end gins are emanating out of india now in 2020 and 2021 there were 15 new premium crafted brands that were launched and goa has some 11 brands and is considered as the capital of gin capital of india now when it comes to the categories the first category in gin is for the best premium gin and that goes to jaisalmer indian crafted gin big thank you for choosing jaisalmer indian craft gin as the best premium gin jaisalmer is truly the most premium offering in the country's gin space and is being accepted wholeheartedly it has already been declared the best gin in asia and we promise to keep bringing such incredible products to you all in the future as well Hello, my name is Robert Fleming, and I'm the master distiller for Angus Dundee Distillers. One of the key stages of producing McCroy's blended Scotch whisky is maturing the new spirit in these American oak barrels. They are first fill bourbon barrels where the new spirit, over a number of years, interacts with the wood to give it a complexity of flavors ranging from vanilla, nutmeg. honey sweetness which over a period of years will mature into what we have here which is mccroy's blended scotch whisky slanjava it's my last night actually one night mm-hmm. that's so many moments to kya ek raat mein puri zindagi ji sakte try kar de har pal ji le tu abhi har lamha तो कैसी रही जिंदगी एवरी मोमेंट वॉज मैजिक मेक एवरी मोमेंट अ मैजिक मोमेंट ऑलवेज बेर ऑन एट मेट What's a celebration if you don't have something special in it? Something to celebrate and make memories with. Since 1793, the finest space-side grains have come together 
with the choicest malts to produce a pleasantly rounded finish that lingers on your palate. Something special is a Scotch whiskey that is mellow, soft, and fruity, with a hint of smokiness. So the next time you celebrate your success, a milestone, or an occasion with your friends and family, you know it calls for something special. Oaksmith Gold, peg it higher. So the final category of awards in Ambrosia Awards 2020 for products is for the whiskey category. Now, as you know, whiskey really dominates the IMFL category in India, and India is also the largest whiskey industry in the world. The IMFL whiskey accounts for close to 220 million cases, which is close to 60% of the overall IMFL category. And without a doubt, India is a whiskey drinking country. So the first award in the whiskey category is for the best Indian premium whiskey. And the award for the best premium Indian whiskey goes to Oakton Barrel Age Rare Premium Grain Whiskey. Hi, on behalf of the entire team at Junibev and Global Spirits, I'd like to thank Ambrosia team as well as Trilok for recognizing the work uh, that has been done by the team for Oakton and giving us this prestigious award. Uh, times like this motivate us to keep doing more work, keep pursuing um, excellence. And uh, once again, on behalf of the entire team, thank you very much. Now, the next award in this category is for the best Indian premium whiskey. And that award goes to Royal Pride Exquisite Whiskey. Now, quickly moving on to the next category, it is for the best IMFL semi premium whiskey category. And the award goes to Oaksmith International Blended Whiskey. Now, the next award is the Best Blended Malt Whiskey Award goes to Amrut Amalgam Peated Malt Whiskey. Hello everyone, I am Trivikram, Joint Managing Director. I am Rachit N. Dikdale, MD of Amrut Whiskeries. On behalf of the entire Amrut team, we would like to express our gratitude to Mr. Trilok Desai, Bhavya and the entire Ambrosia team for conferring this wonderful award to Amrut Amalgam Peated Malt Whiskey as best in class whiskey for the year 2020. Thank you very much. Please take care and do stay safe. Thank you so much. Now, while there is a big market for the IMFL category in India, we still love the scotches and single malls from abroad and that also constitutes a decent percentage of the business in India. So the next award is for the best blended scotch BII which is basically bottled in India for about 5 years. And the award goes to something special. Now the next award is for the best blended scotch BII above 5 years which is bottled in India and in this category we have another award which goes to McCroy's blended scotch whiskey. I am extremely honored to receive the award 
for best bottle in India, branded Scotch whiskey. I am also thankful to all our team members in India as well as in the UK to make this happen. Thanks. Now the next award is for the best Scotch BII, which is bottled in India above 12 years. And the award goes to black and white 12 years. A big thank you on behalf of Team Diageo to this beautiful Ambrosia Award. Now the next category of award is for BIO which is bottled in origin for a whiskey for above 12 years. And the award goes to Doers 12 Years. Hi, thank you. Thank you to the jury, uh, the Ambrosia team for the award. Uh, thank you for recognizing the wit, grit and the craft that we put into making each bottle of Doers. A big thank you to our consumers for making us the fastest growing Scotch brand in India for 2020. Now let's move on to the packaging awards in the Ambrosia Awards 2020. Now as you know that just like the product categories, packaging awards are also very important and interesting yet challenging. The reason these are challenging is because the jury members as well as the Ambrosia team really work around the clock to coordinate with the companies to send in their entries, shortlisting a number of brands out of most of the entries that we get and preparing it for the final jury session. So this year as well, we received more than 100 entries in various categories for the packaging awards. And as you know that in every packaging awards, there also needs to be an excellent jury. And for this year as well, for Ambrosia Awards 2020, we had a superb jury, which included some of these very stellar jury members. So the first jury member is Mr. Shekhar Amberkar, who's the assistant director for the Indian Institute of Packaging and also the head of International Packaging Center. The next jury member is Kiran Prayagi, who is a very known famous printing consultant. This is then followed by Mr. Shir Sagar, who is the Dean for JJ School of Arts and finally Professor K. Munshi, who is from the Indian Institute of Technology and is also focusing on the Industrial Design Centre with a specialization on product design, design management and design methods. Now the first award in the packaging category is for the best packaging award unit pack and the award goes to Smoke Dual Vodka. Thank you Brosia for uh, recognizing us for the best packaging award. Uh, it takes a lot of r and to get the product right and it took us a couple of years, got the right team on board and the right people on board and the thoughts and everything and it came out and I'm holding it. It's truly achieved. Now the next award in this category is for best packaging unit pack for MNCs and the award goes to Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Diwali Edition. Hello everyone, this is Vinay Joshi, brand manager for Jack Daniels. I hope all of you are safe and doing well. On behalf of Brown Foreman and our creative and design agency, I am delighted to accept the Ambrosia 2020 award for best packaging unit for our special festive edition Diwali pack for Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Whiskey. It feels great to be recognized by one of the most important voice in the industry. It also inspires us to keep doing the great work we are doing. So once again, thank you so much Ambrosia team and look forward to celebrating in person next year. Now moving on to the best packaging graphics. The award for the best packaging graphics goes to 100 Pipers. In Punjab, Bulkari means a celebration of life. So we are very happy that at this point of time, this project has come up because it is going to motivate the Bulkari handwork craftspeople. Now this particular piece is very dear to us because it is one of uh, 
ਹਰਿੰਦਰਸ ਦਾਦੀਸ ਕਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੰਨੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਿਆਲਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਿਹਾਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੌਣਕਾਂ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਣ ਕੋਰੋਨਾ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਮੈਂ ਹਮੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਸਾਹਮਣਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੜਾ ਹੈ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ਤਾ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਪੂਰਾ ਯਹਾਂ ਪੇ ਹੈਡਲੂਮ ਚਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਾਵਰ ਲੂਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਲਦਾ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਯਹਾਂ ਪਰ ਮਹੇਸ਼ਵਰ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਜੋ ਨਰਵਦਾ ਮੇ ਲਹਿਰ ਚਲਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਸਕੋ ਹਮਨੇ ਇਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਮਤਲਬ ਧਿਆਨ ਮੇ ਰੱਖਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਇਸ ਕਪੜੇ ਮੇ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਈਨ ਡਾਲਾ ਹੈ most of our uh, parsi families they have inherited garas and uh, these garas were revived by my aunt nachu in its authentic and original form parsi you know we are nature worshipers and water being a a force of nature is the inspiration behind this design hey project ane se baad kaam acha ho raha hai during a time like this when we have to keep giving work to our workers to sustain their vocation it is definitely the 100 pipers legacy project has helped us tremendously gara embroidery needs to be mentioned more often in the history of india's textiles and 100 pipers has taken a right step in this direction Kalamkari is an ancient art and it's a free hand painted with natural dyes. I work with designers all over India and abroad. Ilanti Kalamkari anedi chaala goppa art, chaala ancient art kuda. Ilanti di baiti kravalanante nalanti generation kuda dinni baiti teesukravalanu anukuntunanu. Lot of mythological themes we uh, use in Kalamkari. Then we discuss the designs and everything so we finalized on uh, tree of life. আমফানের জন্য বহু তাতির ঘরে দেখা গেছে তাত ভেঙে গেছে পাললম অ্যাকচুয়ালি প্রথম অবস্থায় ভাদা বানানোর পারমিশন ছিল কিন্তু এখন রঙিন সমস্ত জায়গা বানানো হচ্ছে দা 100 পাইপারস লেগেসি প্রজেক্ট ইজ ট্রাইং নট জাস্ট টু শোকেস উইভস বাট ইটস অলসো হেল্পিং দোজ উইভারস হু হ্যাভ বিন হিট বাই দা টুইন ব্লোজ অফ আমফান এন্ড প্যান্ডেমিক দিস সারি ইজ আ ভেরি ওল্ড ডিজাইন ট্র্যাডিশনাল ডিজাইন অফ ধনেখালি বাই আ ভেরি ভেরি ওয়েল নোন ডিজাইনার কল জীবন কৃষ্ণ সেন দা ফার্স্ট টাইম আই সো সামথিং নিউ woven in front of me and i saw this man weaving this beautiful sari the detailing of it is just so beautiful that i always feel uh, when i see, when i watch something being hand woven i always feel like a lesser artist so i hope that uh, we, we are able to as a society encourage and uh, promote these art forms and uh, uh, help to preserve them and protect them and encourage them 100 pipers legacy project be remembered for good be, be remembered, remembered for, for good, good. So the next award is for the best packaging award in the metal can category. And for the first time in the Ambrosia Awards 2020, we have a tie. So the first award in this category goes to Tag Premium Bear. First of all, I would like to thank the jury for recognizing our brand tag and also Ambrosia for bestowing us the best packaging award for the beer category. This award underlines our commitment to go an extra mile to surprise and delight our consumers. Thank you all very much. And the next winner of the same category, which is for the best packaging award for Metal Can, goes to Kingfisher Ultra Wit Beer. It's an honor for Kingfisher Ultra to be recognized with an award, especially one as prestigious as the Ambrosia's Inspirit 2020. To get an award in product and packaging just makes it that much more delightful. We are uh, extremely delighted and happy by this, that a product that is homegrown craft beer in the wit beer space has been accorded such a lovely recognition. Now the next award is for the best packaging award for bottles. And the award for the best packaging award bottle goes to Dark Knight Small Batch Whiskey. So the next award is for the best packaging beer bottle. And the award for the best packaging award beer bottle goes to Ginsberg Premium Strong Beer. Hi everyone. So we have received this great award for the best packaging 
for Ginsburg strong premium beer and it feels great for a two year young brand to get get recognized and uh, you know because because we consider ourselves very very consumer centric and uh, it will help me and my whole team at Amara Breweries is to stay motivated so thanks a lot thanks a lot Ambrosia and the whole team and uh, the look sir for this wonderful gesture thank you now moving on to the next category we have the best packaging award for mono cartons and the award goes to sterling reserve b7 whiskey thank you amrusha 2020 for giving sterling reserve b7 mono carton the award for the best packaging this pack has helped us stand out amidst a lot of heritage competitors it has also helped us gain share 3 years in a row uh, i humbly accept this on behalf of allied vendors and distillers It's an encouragement for us, and we hope to do even better going forward. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ian Fatith, and I am the global brand ambassador of Angus Dundee Distillers. We're here at Glen Cadham Distillery, which is our Highland single malt. McCroy's is a premium blended Scotch whisky, which uses a lot of first fill bourbon casks in its production. Glen Cadham Distillery produces a very fruity and sweet whisky. The sweet and fruity spirit that we make here. has a major influence in the flavor components of a McCroy's blended scotch whiskey. Always bet on it, mate. Apple juice. Ye vakt mera hai. So that concludes the edition for Ambrosia Awards 2020, and we all would like to thank you for sending in all of your products for the 2020 edition, and we also look forward to receiving all of your samples for the 2021 edition as well. So we hope that you liked all of this. We would also like to congratulate all the winners and also say best of luck for editions to come. Now if you like this video then please make sure that you like share and subscribe to our channel also do look us up on our website ambrosiaindia.com do follow our magazine as well and very important is that until next time drink responsibly